Also joined by Don Raumaker over there, who might pop in with us a little bit later in the program to uh, say a few words in regards to the book and the material that we will be discussing here today. Um, Hall's uh, supposition is that we are faced with a type of terrorism that is unseen, but, but uh, just as deadly. The U.S. government satellite surveillance systems um, are a new way for criminals to gain possession not only of people's financial lives, but uh, our most precious resource, our minds. Uh, what can we do and who are the, these individuals who are trying to control the way um, that we think, feel, act and uh, what we do? Uh, we are going to talk about the topics of electronic harassment, stalking and mind control. Uh, we're also going to discuss how CIA and NSA technology is being used to track, intimidate and even read the thoughts of people. As you know, if you've been following this radio show, the, these are topics that come up uh, often on and off with our guests that we invite. We're going to go into detail more in terms of this here today. Uh, the website that you can check out right away to uh, read more about uh, our guest and the book is satweapons.com, satweapons.com. Uh, so check that out for much more information on that. But uh, with that, John Hall, welcome to Red Ice Radio. It's good to have you with us today. Well, it's good to be with you. Uh and, when I, and one thing I would like to start off with is when I wrote the book, obviously it's titled Satellite Terrorism in America. Uh, I was the, the, what I wrote about was technology that our government has worked on and experiences that I've seen with uh, uh, close friends and patients that have been exposed to this. But after publishing the book, I've had such a public outcry 